Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be unboxing Ninja's brand new ice cream maker, the Ninja Creamy Breeze. How does it stack up to their other machines? You're about to find out. So you ready? Let's get into this. All right, let's check out this box. This is the Ninja Creamy Breeze and you can see it's a little bit different than the older Ninja Creamies. Gone is the big locking pitcher at the bottom and instead you're just taking your pints and torquing them straight into the machine. You can do ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet, milkshakes, smoothie bowls, and gelatos, and you also have the option to put mix-ins into your ice creams. So in that respect, it's just like the other Ninja Creamies. If you see right here, you can turn almost anything into ice cream, sorbets, milkshakes, and more. I can't wait to try this out with a whole bunch of grass, some weeds from my backyard, and a little bit of liver, because you know, Almost anything can be ice cream, right? Anyway, the machine comes with two pints in the box and that's pretty standard with Ninja. Let's see what else we got here. Here you can see a breakdown of the machine. You got your creamerizer paddle just like you had in the other machine. Your locking lid that the paddle nests into, which is standard as well, except now that lid attaches directly to your creamy pints like I mentioned before, instead of having the extra pitcher that you have to put it into. The pints are 16 ounce, so keep in mind that it is smaller than what you get with the deluxe. Right here says the containers, lids, and paddle are dishwasher safe. That's fine and dandy, but I would never ever put any of these parts into the dishwasher. Just hand wash them, it's a lot safer. You're not gonna end up getting your plastic all cloudy or anything, you're not gonna rust out the screws. Trust me, you're just better off to do it by hand. And you can see down here, mom is making some ice cream with daughter number one, while daughter number two here is left out a little bit. See how far away she is from the two of them? I was left out like that too when I was a kid. It's okay kid, things will get better, I promise. Mommy, I love making ice cream with you. That's great. You're my favorite daughter in the whole world. Well, Mom, I'm here too. You shut up when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Moving right along. Here you can see a quick rundown of sort of what the drive motor looks like, what the paddle looks like, and sort of what it does in the machine. That's all the same as the other creamies. And that's actually an idea that was copied from the Paco Jet. If you don't know what a Paco Jet is, it's something like this, but it's made for restaurant environments and costs about $5,000. And down here you can see all you need to get started, which is just the ingredients for ice cream. Go figure. Right here you can see what comes in the box, which is the motor base, the two pints, the panel, the processing lid, and a recipe inspiration guide, which I'll show you in just a second. So let's get this thing open. Okay, opening this up. Let's see what we got. Literature. Safety instruction guide. Standard fare, don't put it in the oven, don't use it outside, don't dip it in water, all that kind of stuff. A quick rundown of what the controls do. Some tips for the best results when you're freezing your creamy pints. And some cleaning tips. So this will go into a drawer, never to be seen again. Next we have a full color quick start guide. And again, it gives you an idea of how to make some basic ice cream, how to install the parts, and what all the parts do. All right, enough of that. And the last of the reading material, we have the Ninja Creamy Breeze recipe book. Just about all Ninja products come with something like this, and it's a thing that I really, really appreciate. I really recommend trying some of the things in here. They've got full recipes for all sorts of stuff, along with some other tips for getting the most out of your machine. The recipes in here are really, really great and they have really nice full color pictures in here as well. This is the sort of thing that you wanna keep in a safe place and not lose because you're gonna to wanna to refer back to this from time to time. But we got unboxing to do. Okay, so we'll take off this. Okay, so we'll take this off here. I always like seeing how Ninja packs their stuff because they really do a nice job of that. Everything's always individually wrapped like this. I know Ninja doesn't build the most expensive products or anything, and some people complain about quality, but they really put a lot of time into the packing. Here's one of the creamy lids. A lot less flimsy than the ones from the previous machines, so that's interesting. Kind of like this. Right here's our first pint. These are pretty squatty little cups here. Let's out of the way for a second. And on this you can see all these little 
parts that stick out here on the sides, those are locking mechanisms that'll keep it stuck in the machine when you're processing. It's kind of funny because the bottom of the pint has these keys down here, and I don't think that those are gonna be used anymore because that's a holdover for when you had the pitcher that you had to slide it into. And you would turn this thing around until it slots down into it, makes a good connection. Since we don't have that part anymore, I don't think that there is a use for them at all. Huh, what we got here next, we'll take this little box out, and the box down here. Open this up, and what do we've got here? This is Creamy Pint number two. I'll take that out of the plastic. And you see this one's packed with the latching lid on top of it that goes up into the machine. Basically this twists and removes like that, or you put it on and twist it back. So that arrow here is actually used to line up the two arrows so you know when it's locked. So the max fill line is probably actually right here, right where it says max fill right where this pattern changes right here. Not a good idea to have that written right below that arrow because that's gonna make you think that this is the max fill. And I'll tell you right now that it is not because just looking at this, you're gonna tell that is gonna be way too high and it's gonna overflow. So that might be a little bit of a design flaw. And inside of this pint, we also probably have our paddle. And there it is. This right here tells you how to install the paddle, but we've installed a bunch of these so we know, and I will show you. That just flips open like this. There's your paddle. It's a really similar lid to the old machine, just smaller. You can see that this latch is spring-loaded, and when you pull it, these little nubs here disappear into the sides of the lid. So to put this on, you just pull that lever, drop that right in there, and let go. It sits in here and kind of flops around and doesn't seem like it's in there very well, but that's the nature of the machine. There's nothing wrong with it. That's just the way it sits in there. So if you get freaked out by that, don't worry. Also, you'll see that this doesn't go all the way back. It stops about halfway. That's because this is in here and it can't go back all the way. So don't try to force that back. That's correct. Now for the machine. Well, I'll tell you what. This is a much simpler, sleeker design. Now I mentioned before that this doesn't use the pitcher system anymore. So all you got is your creamy pint, the lid that just twists onto it just like that, and then you just put this up into the machine and turn it until it locks. And really that's all there is to it. You push the lock button here to release it so you can get it back out again. Kinda liking that design. Now, if you have one of the older Ninja Cream, it's a little bit different. Instead of being at an angle like this, this comes down vertically, and you have a pitcher like that. There's a lock in the lid, which is much, much bigger than this lid. And you can see that the paddle is up inside here, and you got a whole lot more girth here, you got a rubber seal, you got a lot more parts here. And then you have this pitcher that the creamy pint sits into. So it goes pitcher, pint, lid, then you lock it in, and then you can put this into the machine. You can see how much more simple this is, and you're done. One thing I wanted to show you, which I mentioned earlier in the video, is these keys here on the bottom of the pint. If you look at the bottom of the pitcher, you can see it's keyed here for that. So this sits in here like this, and you turn it around, and then you can feel it drop in, and you put this lid on top. That's what that's for. You look at these, those keys are still on there, and those are just dangling down here on the bottom, so there's absolutely no reason for these to even be here. Again, if you don't have a pint in here, it's gonna tell you to go ahead and lock in a pint. So we'll go ahead and put this in here, just like that. And you can see all of your programs. You got your mix-in button, which would allow you to mix in M&Ms or chocolate chips or whatever at the end of your ice cream. A respin, in case you don't get creamy results that you want, you can always hit the respin button and it'll spin the contents over again and kind of creamify it up a little bit more for you. Plus you got these other six programs. You got ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet, gelato, smoothie bowls, and milkshakes. So one thing to note is if you have the original Ninja Creamy, you have the same programs that are on that. But if you have a Ninja Creamy Deluxe, you've got more of these. So you'd actually lose programs by switching over to this machine. So that's something to know. We're gonna go ahead and run a quick light ice cream cycle and see exactly how loud this thing is. And to do that, we're gonna use our trusty sound meter. 
You can see there's a little bit of residual noise. I got a dog snoring in the background, plus my refrigerator is just to my left. So we're gonna get this as close as we really can, but it's gonna be a teeny tiny bit higher than it should be. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Okay, that just finished up and it had like a little hiccup right at the end where it got a little bit louder and pushed it up to 87 decibels. So it's not quiet by any stretch of the imagination, but you know what, this is a heck of a lot more quiet than the older Ninja Creamies are. And it feels like it runs a little bit smoother too, so they might have done some upgrades on the motor. So that's good to know. Can't wait to test this thing out. Over the next week or two, we're going to be testing the Ninja Creamy Breeze to find out exactly how it stacks up. Once we get that done, we'll have a full product review. If you'd like a little bit more information about the Ninja Creamy Breeze, we do have an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, we do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay one cent. In addition to that, we have a limited time link directly to Ninja's website, and if you use that, you'll save $20 on any purchase over hundred bucks. If you like this video, you might like this video right here where we unbox the Ninja Creamy Deluxe. That one's a little bit older than the Breeze and it costs more, but it has a lot more features too. If you're shopping, it might be kind of neat to check out. Well, that's it for now. I hope to see you again really soon. And until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.